Hey everyone, this is David with Benchmark. Today I'm going to be showing you guys how to set up an S321 as a rover with Stormcaster. Uh, just a quick note before we get started, always make sure you have the cell antenna screwed into the S321 before you begin doing this. Uh, there's two antenna ports on the bottom, one for UHF, one for cell. You need to have the cell antenna screwed in or it's not going to work. Alright, so the first step is we're just going to go to the Equip tab right here, and then we're going to click on GPS Rover. Now this is going to bring up our rover screen, and it's going to ask us to manufacture a model of the receiver. We are using Hemisphere S321, but if you're using something else, you can select it using the drop-downs on the screen. So I'm just going to move over to the Comms tab, and here, if you've already paired your receiver with your data collector, you should be able to select it based on serial number from this drop-down right there. Now if you haven't, you can always use this wrench button next to the Bluetooth type drop-down to configure new connections. Now I'm just going to click this plug and receiver button to set up a Bluetooth connection with the receiver. Alright, and then I'm just going to go to the receiver tab. And here I want to make sure the antenna type does say HEM S321. And the antenna height needs to be measured from the bottom of the receiver to the ground. Now I'm just going to leave mine at 1.5 meters. So next we're going to move to the RTK tab. Make sure the device is set to internal GSM and the network is set to NTRIP. So I'm just going to click the configure button next to device to bring up the different cell or SIM card options that we have. Alright, so there you go. That looks alright to me. So I'm just going to hit the green check mark up top. And then I'm going to click on the configure button next to where it says NTRIP. Now this is going to bring up different options for passwords and stuff like that uh, to get the list of mount points that you need. Uh, so right here I named mine test and then uh, under IP address you want it to say ntrip.stormcaster.net. Uh, your port will be given to you by us. Uh, I'm just going to use 2101 for today and then you'll also get a username and password from us which you want to type in right here. Uh, once that's done just hit the green check mark up top and then it'll go searching for different mount points that you can hook up to. Alright, so here you see we found the mount point I set up earlier called CALG0 and it has all the information about it. You can then, if that's not the one you want, you can drop it down and select different ones or you can just hit the green check mark up here and then just hit the green check mark again to set up your rover. Alright, once that's done, we can go to the Survey tab and click on Store Points to monitor the status and store points. As you can see, I'm already fixed, and I have a horizontal residual of 4 millimeters and a vertical of 5 millimeters. That's all for today, so if you have any questions or you want to see the S321 in action, give us a call at 1-888-286-3204 or visit our webpage at www.bench-mark.ca. Thanks for watching. Have a good day.